Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. Good morning. I'm still kind of waking up. I still have my PJs on. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day out today, so I'm really excited about that. Spring is definitely on the way. So I'm gonna get started with my coffee and ice water. I'm not super hungry yet, which I feel like I'm typically not. So I either have like a late breakfast or an earlier lunch and a snack, depending on the day, so we'll see how it goes. So let's just get started. So for my morning coffee recently, I've been having the Dunkin' coffee, just the original. And then I've been using this oat milk coffee creamer. I've been using the brown sugar one a lot recently. I really like the flavor of it. And it's dairy free, which is a big plus, especially for those that are lactose intolerant or find that dairy causes inflammation, etc. So I'm just gonna start with my coffee today while I go do some editing on a recent try on haul, which is coming soon. So keep your eye out for that. For lunch today, I was out running some errands, so I just grabbed some Chick-fil-A on the way home. For my drink, I got half sweet, half diet, half and half, so half lemonade, half tea. And then I got the Cobb salad with some light balsamic vinaigrette dressing. It's super good, it's loaded, like it's a really large salad. And I love that it has the chopped chicken nuggets on top. So good. It's about 2.30 now, and I'm starting to get a little bit more hungry. So today I'm gonna have half of a Built Bar as a snack. You guys know I'm absolutely obsessed with Built. They offer a ton of different products now, but I've been a huge fan of the Built Bar specifically for years. Like, I'm not kidding y'all when I say I'm obsessed. The Built brand offers guilt-free products that are filling, satisfying, and help curb your cravings. A lot of you guys said that your favorite flavor is the cookies and cream, but if you haven't tried the peanut butter flavor, highly recommend that one. So, so good. They're an option I highly recommend having on hand anytime you're having a craving, especially for something sweet. They have 18 amazing different flavors. They're also high protein and gluten-free. You can obviously just eat it straight from the package like a candy bar. But for days that I just want like a little bit of something sweet, more of a snack style like today, I'm gonna actually cut this up into bite-sized pieces and place the rest of the half that I'm not going to have now in a baggie for later. I feel like this bar specifically is one of the better examples when you look at it. You can see the fluffy texture, the real peanuts, the chocolate coating on the outside. It kind of reminds me of the look and texture of like cookie dough. So it's that soft, gooey, chewy type of texture. This is one of my absolute favorite flavors. This is the peanut butter flavor. I'll list a few of my favorite flavors down in the description box if you wanna check those out, as well as a direct link to shop and a discount code. For dinner tonight, we're actually going to have one of our home chefs. The one I'm going to make tonight is this lemon chicken Alfredo fettuccine. Looks so good. This is part of their fast and fresh options, so that means it takes typically 15 to 20 minutes total to prep and cook. And this is level easy because you literally just throw it all together, everything's included, including the pan that you cook it in. So it shows you two options for microwave and oven. I'm gonna do the oven option. It would take less time to do in the microwave, but I feel like things always taste better in the oven. This is also a great option for you guys to make at home on your own too. You don't need Home Chef to make these. These just give you ideas. So it says to just combine everything into the pan and then cover with tin foil. So that's what I'm gonna do. In our box, it includes eight ounces of cooked fettuccine. You'll also need to add in one third cup of water, half an ounce of grated Parmesan cheese, and half a teaspoon of garlic salt. Four ounces of broccoli. We really love broccoli, so I actually also steamed up about three cups more on my own separately that I added in at the end after this was already all cooked. About eight ounces of fully cooked shredded chicken breasts. Side note, this chicken is already pre-cooked, but you could definitely do it with raw chicken. Uh, you would just have to cook it longer, obviously, to reach the internal temperature that's safe to eat. Two ounces of light cream cheese four ounces of Alfredo sauce, one fourth teaspoon salt, and about a pinch of pepper. Then mix this together, combining everything, and cover with tin foil. Allow this to cook for about 20 minutes on 375 and dinner is ready. Super easy, really convenient, and really tasty. We also added some sriracha and a little bit of lemon juice to ours, but that's totally preference if you wanna add any other flavoring or condiments. I just came upstairs to finish some laundry. It's a lot of laundry, actually. 
and I was craving something sweet. I did not finish my bar earlier that I had as a snack, so I put half of it in a little baggie, and I'm gonna have the rest for dessert. You know when a food is so good, it makes you do like the, the eating dance, the happy food dance. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish the rest of my dessert while I finish up the rest of my laundry for the night and get to bed. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.